Okay, so I'm here today with my buddy Roman, and we're in my 2016 Ford Fusion. And I'm going to attempt to answer a question that I couldn't find on YouTube or on the internet very well, which is how to install a line output converter on a factory stereo in your Ford Fusion. And this will pertain to several years of the Ford Fusion. I'm not exactly sure which one's like 2012 to 2017 right now. But um, anyways, this is the stereo I have here and we're going to attempt to take this off. And I've discovered that the best way to install this little dude, the line output converter, is behind the stereo. And the reason why is because I have a Ford Fusion SE. And if you look back here, the speakers are in the back doors. And they don't have speakers in the back dash up here. So we don't have any wires to tap into right by the trunk. So the other place I would do it would be in the back doors here and I just don't want to do that. I'm going to pull the stereo, tie in right there, run RCA cables back, run my power cable back, and um, a remote wire and I'll show you how to do that. All right. Okay, so the first thing we got to do here to get the stereo out is we're going to take out this black piece right here around the shifter. I just put it in neutral. Um, because it's supposed to be easier to pop off and then we'll take this little silver ring off and then this piece right here and then this big silver piece will come off and then we can pull this head unit out okay so I'll have Roman hold the camera and I'm going to attempt to start popping this loose right here there's like four clips on it Maybe I'll try down here first. Or did he say the silver one first? Silver one first. Okay, we start with the silver one first, my bad. Um, I think the black one comes out first. Put this on. Okay, so I just popped in right here and popped this clip loose right here. And now I'm gonna just come over here to this side right here. Pop that one. And then there's two more clips in the back here. I just wanna gently come back here. Pop that one. And then just be careful where you're not scratching your stuff up, okay? Don't want to break it. There we go. This piece, it looks like the clips are kind of stuck right here, so um, he said don't worry if they fall off the guy that I talked to. And it just hit me in the face. There we go. This piece is off. This clip kind of came loose, but that's okay. We can just put it right back on. We'll set it up here. And then this piece comes off, right? No, this stays. This doesn't need to come. This piece is next right here. Okay, that one came off. All the clips are intact. Make sure that camera's right. Okay, we'll set that up there. Now this piece is supposed to come off. And just pop that loose. and loose.
Got this little mount right here that just came off. That's all right. All right, this is off. Okay, I'm gonna set that up here. All right, now comes the fun part. Um, there's these four screws right here. One, two, and I believe three, four. All right, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta get a tool. Okay, so I've got a 930 seconds little socket and a little driver. Let's see. Okay, my driver's a little bad. that one out Pop that one out. okay we'll take this one oh come on this is terrible little technical difficulty with the socket. Pop that one out. Socket's giving me shit. Okay, I'm back. Got a little better socket tool. Sorry about that. I had technical difficulties for a minute. It's all good though. We're still going to show you how to do this. It's going to work. All right, got the last screw out. Now, I'm going to put this back in park. Pull the key out. This is supposed to come off here. I'm just double checking. Oh, there's right there and right there. I think I missed the ones I was supposed to get and got these instead, which loosens that up. That's okay. Let's get those. They're kind of in there. I'm going to take this little tool here and just kind of pull those out. And they look the same, but I'm going to set them on this side. Okay, got those out. Now we should be free. <clears throat> right, Roman? Okay, maybe we gotta take that top piece off. Keep watching. What I'm gonna do is see if I can pop this loose here. I don't wanna break anything, so I'm gonna be careful. Feels like it's connected up there to something, doesn't it? All right, pause. Okay, I've been having a heck of time with this, but what I did is I just lifted up a little bit more, and um, that top 
pop loose. It just pops out, okay? And then we've got these little wires right here, okay? We just have to unclip. Got it. Boom. Okay. On to the next phase. Sit that back here. We've got the radio unit right here. Looks like we've got four screws right here we gotta take off. And uh, we should be able to get back to the back of the wiring. Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna pop these screws out now and take the radio the rest of the way out. Just be gentle when you're working with that uh, cover on the radio. You know, you don't want to break anything, but it does just come loose. Like I said, you just lift up from the bottom and keep going and it finally pops. This is probably going to be the most difficult part of the video. You might get a little bit closer, I don't know. I think it's going to be the most difficult part, doing the converter line output. Okay, wow, um, that's just the display, okay. So this must be the radio part right here, but we got the display out of the way. Okay. How did that pop loose? All right there, push in. Okay, I think this just goes like this. Push in on this and release that. Well, okay. I wish we could just set that up out of the way for now. Yeah? No? Alright, I finally got this loose here. Um, I can't remember which way is up or down now. Let's, let's see here. Alright, so... Put that in. No, that's the right way. See, it, it locks in. All you have to do is depress this and then pull down on this and it pulls and releases it. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, you guys can figure out a simple clip. It's not that hard. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Now we get the radio going here. I have to write, um, video edit quite a bit, but hopefully you guys will still get the picture and figure out what to do. And the, di the diagram for the wiring will work good too. I've got that. It's a piece of junk. All right, look at that. We have the radio. Boom. All right. Look at all these wires here. Now we got to figure out which ones um, are what. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to unplug these from the radio and then I'm going to get out my wiring diagram and then I'm going to tap into them, okay? So first things first here is I'm going to pop these loose, push down on this little tab right here and pull them out. Push down on this tab and pull it out. Pop some tabs, pull them out. We got the radio free. Look at that, guys. We did it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, awesome. we're ready here. Um, 
I got the plugs off the back. I just had to take a minute to uh, figure out the wiring diagram. And I've located all the wires. I'll post the picture to the wiring diagram uh, below the video so you can see which colors are which. But the ones that I want to hook into are the violet and green, which is the switch for your amplifier to turn your amplifier on and off. It's not constant. It's only on when the radio's on. And then I want to go for the left rear speaker and the right rear speaker. And those are white and green, brown and yellow, brown and white, and blue and brown. And I found all those right here, and they're kind of together. Blue and brown, brown and white, um, yellow and brown, and white and green, which is right here. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to... Uh, get it ready to hook into this so um, left positive left negative right positive right negative and just so you know white and green is the left positive and brown and yellow is left negative brown and white is right positive and blue and brown is right negative and the other one was violet and green and that's your 12 volt switch so I'm going to um, pull some of this off of here and I want to just be really careful not to cut any wires but we'll cut this back so I can get in here because I'm going to need a little space to work with these clips Getting that good? Cool. Just gently slice that back very carefully. Okay, I think we got it back far enough. These are all able to pull apart. There's another section right here. It's got tape on it. And, um,. It's not too hard to pull these apart and get loose to what I need to get to now. So, what I've got are these little quick clips right here, quick connects. And what they do is you put um, this around these wires here, and then you put your new wire in the side right here. And then you just clamp down on that, and it's just a quick tie-in to the system. So, uh, give me just a second, I'll be back. Okay, these come from the factory with little ends already pre-cut, um, pre I guess. I don't want any loose ends on there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clip these like this so they're all just like that with the plastic insulation around the wires, okay? All right, now, get my diagram handy and the first one is the violet and green okay violet and green see that that look violet and green to you purple and green okay so that's gonna be my remote wire now I need to get my uh, remote wire out of my kit here which I'll post a link below the video where you can get this. I got this up for like 11 or $12 off of Amazon. Um, it's a Boss Audio System. It's an entire wiring kit. So, we'll just set some stuff down here. And here's my remote wire. It comes in the box. And the next thing we're going to need is our RCA cables. So we'll set those down here too. Alright, so we've got this here. Let me get this ready. Boom. Oh. The remote wire will tie in here. Okay, cool. Alright. And I'll just set that down there for now. Okay, the way you would tie into this now is um, just like this. Alright, so we want to slap a clip all the way around this green and violet, or violet and green. 
Roman, you make sure I'm doing the right wire too, okay? Oh, there's a little, it's plugged up right there a little bit from the factory. Let me get a better one here. Look at all these. They got a little, oh, that's for the other end, my bad. Okay, so what you want to do is take your loose end and put it in this one on the inside. Violet and green, right, is the accessory? Is that Radio switched, 12 volt wire. 12 volt accessory. <clears throat> I don't see any other violet and green. So I've got that in there like that. This baby, I'm going to slide it down because I might stagger those clips a little bit just because it might take up some space right here. Put your deal there. Oops. Get my clamp ready. Make sure this wire is in here and that's in place. And voila. That's it. That's the remote wire. All right, that's the one we're going to drop down and run back to the amplifier. Now, the next one left positive is red and or white and orange. And on here, it's this one, left positive, is all gray, white and orange, correct? Correct. Okay, here it is, white and orange, guys. Not a lot of room to work, but it'll work. I'll just go right here, white and orange. And which one is it again? White and orange. It is the right front speaker wire. White and orange? Is right front speaker wire. Oh, okay. Nope. I don't want that one. My bad. I want to do left rear positive. So I left want white rear. and green. White and green. See, guys? You got to pay close attention <clears throat> here to what you're doing. White and green. Here we go. White and green. Just take your time. Don't screw it up. White and green coming loose. Here we That's go. Rear speaker wire. Okay. White and green is left what? Left rear speaker wire. Left positive or left negative? <clears throat> left positive speaker okay. wire. All right. White and green is left positive. I got it coming off of my um, line output converter. And the left positive on the white and green. Ready to go? It's on. Okay. Now, which one is left negative? Left negative is white and brown. Left front speaker wire, left negative. Left rear. Left rear negative is brown and yellow. Brown and yellow. Okay. So brown and yellow is right next to it, right here. I'm going to slip a clip over it right here. And pop this in. <coughs> Just make sure your fingers don't cover the lens. Okay, hooking that one up. That's done. All right, good to go there. Next, we've got. Um, Okay, there's a ground wire, but we, it says most amplifiers, you don't have to hook that up. So the next one we need is right rear positive. What color? Right rear positive, right front. Right rear speaker positive is brown and white. Right here, brown and white. And then the um, right rear negative is blue and brown. That makes sense because they're right here together. A little tight in here, but I think we'll get it. Brown and white is the first one. Right rear positive. 
right rear positive, brown and white. Make sure I got the right one here. Right positive. Okay. Stick that in there. Hold that. All right. Clip that down. Close it up. And then um, the right speaker. Let me see this. Just making sure we're still recording. We're good. I know this is going to be a long video, but this is going to be and brown. powerful. Okay, so blue and brown is the very last one here. And then we'll have our line output converter finally attached. So blue and brown goes in here. Right like that. And then we got this wire here. Pop that in there. Clamp ready, slide, make sure that's slid in and clamp down. We are hooked up. Okay guys, we've got the line output converter fully hooked up. We don't need to worry about the ground wire because it says most amplifiers don't require that. So um, we've got this wire here, which is our remote wire. So I can go ahead and get that ready to run to the back. And I've got a little spot right here um, we're just going to slip it down through this hole right here and feed it down. And we're just going to get them under the dash for right now. You can see it right through here. It goes right under the dash. We'll worry about putting the wires up later, but for now, we're just going to get it through here. Let me straighten this up a little bit. All right. that camera down by your hand. See it coming down yet? Did you see it down there? No. Let me get it here. Oh, there it your is. Head. It's right here. Let me stick it down through there. All right. You see it? Difficult, but we'll get it. There it is. Okay, so we're going to feed that all the way through there. Oh. Okay, that was fun. Whew. All right, next step is to get the monster cables or the RCA cables ready. You know what, I think I'll just have you hand them up to me, bro. Yep. So, we're just going to come up right through here. Actually, I think I got it right here. We'll just stick them up through here like this until I can get it with my finger. It's coming. There it goes. Okay, got it, right on. Okay, so now, let me find my little adapter here. This dude right here. So I'm gonna hook this white side up to right rear positive. Fair enough? You can talk, yeah? Yes. And then I'm gonna do blue on right, or left, Rear negative, well, excuse me. We'll just call it left rear and right rear, my bad. Okay, so, um, right rear is white, left rear is blue. Okay, you can pause it. All right, I'm back here now. I gotta remove some panels and stuff and have Roman hold the cam camera so you can see what I'm gonna do. The first one, come down here. Come, come right here. Okay, I'm gonna pull this one off because it's holding this one in place and it's also holding this one in place back here. So I'm gonna come under it with my tool and pop it up. Okay, I got that off. Now, this one here. 
I believe it's the same same kind of clip so pop that loose pop that off well that should be enough right there is that enough yeah okay like he's gonna sneak underneath that carpet and feed it through <clears throat> so let me see the camera here all right so I got these wires down right here. I'm gonna pull them behind this so you can't see them, right? And put them all the way back here behind this dude. Nice and clean, out of the way, right? All the way back here. You get it figured out there, Pilgrim. Getting a, coming underneath the carpet here. Okay, you want to hold this right here? I'm going to pull this. And just feed them all the way. Right up behind there. Then down up underneath that. Underneath <clears throat> this? Yeah, you want to go... Between that clip, you're gonna have to get the very ends and pull it all the way through that, that clip. Do we want it on the inside or? I think you want it underneath that edge of that carpet though. Under the carpet, you think? Yeah. Okay. So I'll have to pop that clip right there. And if you don't, yeah. Or maybe I'll just go around that one. Yeah, just go around that one maybe. going around this clip right here and then tucking it back under this carpet right here that's where I was thinking maybe you should pull around that clip just run it under here under the trim yep okay all right next thing we got to do is um, I got to get the power wire going now so we can run them all at the same time all right pause okay so the next thing I got to do here is clip off a little piece of wire that goes from the battery to the fuse holder and then from the fuse holder back to the amp is the next step so I'm gonna trim a little piece of this off I think I'll just have it like hanging right here I'm not gonna really clamp this onto anything because I don't want to mess with that you want to get it away from the block from the heat so I'm just gonna get a little little piece of wire here and where'd it go all right I'm gonna try this again Got another piece of wire. I'm gonna trim off the ends. Just a little bit here. Oh, trimmed off a little too much. I should have a little trimmer tool, but I don't have one handy. So we got that little bit there. there twist that off okay twist this one off it's pretty straightforward pretty simple really now I need a uh, come closer down here um, one of these goes on to the battery so we got to get one of these right here and this just goes in like that should have a crimper, but I'm just going to use my pliers if I if I can get them to work. Yeah, use that. There you go. I think I got it pretty good, guys. All right, so that's clamped on good, and then. <clears throat> We'll tie into the boss fuse link here. You have to have an Allen wrench. That's a little bit sideways, but we'll just unscrew this. Put this in here. Like such. Oh, we gotta make sure this is on first. So it's not exposed. Run that wire in there.
tighten it down. That nice and good. Put this back on here. And voila. Okay, so I'll go ahead and hook this in. First thing I'm going to do is unhook the positive terminal and the battery. Okay, I got the battery terminal loose. Come down a little closer here. I'm just going to put this on here like such and put the nut back on and tight, tighten it down a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the, the positive terminal while we're doing the rest of the installation just so nothing accidentally grounds out, which is a good idea. We'll just kind of get this hand tight and then pull the terminal off. Okay, like that. And then we'll just take and pop that off. Okay, so now we're just going to splice this into this like we just did, but you don't need to watch all that. You can follow the directions from the previous Okay, so we actually we'll found the hole for this to go through. Cut a little hole in this grommet right here. And then use a coat hanger, straighten it out, and start coming down. And then have a buddy on the inside. He'll start to see it come through right here. And he can pull it through with a pair of needle nose pliers, so it's right here. What we're going to do is tie the cable on the other end of it and pull it through now. Alright, give us a minute to get that hooked okay, up. Okay, I've got it taped on here. I'm going to gently feed it down through here, like that, and get it started. And he's gonna pull it and I'm just gonna keep feeding it. Please, please tell me it's coming. Is it coming? It is, isn't it? Keep going, pull it all the way through. Keep going, keep going, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming right about there. Good. That gives me enough room to tuck it up here, like this, and up in here like this. And we'll just zip tie it in a couple spots in a little bit, and it'll be right as rain. All right, now that we've kind of got all the wires pulled up to the front of the car, I'm going to get back here and pull this out of the trunk and just get it out of the way. That way we got space here to work. And uh, I'll go ahead and get a ground wire hooked up and we're going to pull up all the wires so we have about, I don't know, a foot and a half of space to work with. All right. Second. Okay, so we've got the remote wire, the RCA cable, and the power wire right here ready to go. And what we're going to do is we're going to run them under the carpet here. There's a little clip there. And i got to take this panel off here, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this loose. Right? Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Pop this all loose. Come back here. And... Okay, maybe pull this one first. Pop this one out of here. That's nice and out of the way. That's good enough. There's a penny that loose just so we can get the um, carpet up right here and get under it I think anyways it's kind of it's down pretty tight right there it's under this thingy bolted so um, if we unbolt this little piece right here we can pull the carpet up as I don't think we can run the cables through here so we're gonna have to unbolt that little strip right here and right here so we can continue the cables through the underneath the carpet right up under through here I'll be back I'll get that off and I'll be back all right we got that little strip pulled up and we got all the carpet loose there was a little clip right here and there was a little clip under this post to release all the carpet because we're gonna run it under the carpet okay I'm just gonna start right here Bring it back because there wasn't enough room under the trim. So now, I'll 
feed this back here. In there. these we're gonna come yep right here on this side of that up here underneath of this all of that nice and clean a little tricky but here. yeah and then set this stuff down here that clip Pull this down. You got this. It's coming up here. We're all the way back to the trunk now. All three wires are coming along. And there we go. The power wire is still unhooked from the battery so we don't have any shorts coming out. That's a good thing. Now we just gotta put all of the um, trim pieces back down and we're good to go. Okay, so I got a little, I got all the wires ran except for the ground wire. I pulled that piece out and I tapped a little hole right here. Okay, and I'm gonna run this as my ground wire with this dude right here. So, I got it started. It's not really totally a self tapper, but I'm just gonna kind of tap it in, give it a little start. Okay, Roman's just putting the final touches on right here, getting the battery all hooked back up. We got everything patched back together. I wasn't gonna bore you with putting it all back together. If you can take it apart, you can put it back together. Right, Roman? That's right. Got that? That's good enough. Something. Let's try it. Okay. Let's, let's close the lid and we're gonna go inside the car and test it out. I mean, everything is hooked back up. We are good to go. The dash is back together. Um, put the key in here and it's go time. So, you want to hold this? Yeah, hold on. Let's hook this bad boy up. All the power's been off, so... Hopefully we can reconnect to the media. Nice view with the camera there. Come on, cameraman. <laughs> let's do USB. And let's try some music. Well, it's go time. Let's see if we got a subwoofer. Yes, yes. In the name of Jesus, preach. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Preach. In every time that rises against me, judgment thou shalt condemn. Preach. Lord, give me a sign. For this is the heritage of the service of the Lord. Preach. And the righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Preach. Amen. Lord, give me a sign. I really need to talk to you, Lord. The last time we talked, we walked. Okay, I don't hear much bass, so I'm gonna go see if it's on, make some tweaks, and we'll come back. All right, okay, so we got everything hooked up, and the subwoofer didn't turn on. And I determined that I think I hooked the remote wire up to the wrong uh, harness. So there's, we were hooking everything up to this harness, and I believe that's just all speaker wires. So this other harness must be the one for the power. So I got, I took the green and violet from this one right here and hooked it up to my remote wire. Now, now we'll try it again and see if it works. Okay, okay everybody, after much drama on my part, I finally figured out the remote wire. Okay, it's actually on the back of the LCD display. It is purple and red, and that's the remote wire, purple and red on the back of the LCD. It wasn't the one on the back of this 
CD player. But I got all the wires right back here in the original part of the video. So those are all correct for the speakers to hook up to the line output converter. The only one I didn't have correct was the remote wire and it about drove me crazy, but I finally figured it out. It was on the LCD display and now the subwoofer is working. Peace. I'm gonna put all the links to the wiring diagram in below and where you can get the line output converter and the um, wiring harness for the cheapest possible price on Amazon and a link to some of the other components that I've used in this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps. I know it's long and lengthy and I imagine you're probably going to go through some trouble too but if you're up for the challenge it's all here guys so it's all here everything you need to successfully hook up your subwoofer um, I highly recommend you just go have somebody do it. It's difficult. Anyways, peace out. Thanks for watching. Um, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate if you purchase through my links. This was a painful video to make, so anything helps. All okay, right. I got a small disclaimer to make. Um, I hooked everything up right except for the accessory wire. For whatever reason, that the one that I tied into is keeping the amp on all the time. And um, I just, I'm having a tough time finding the accessory wire. The amplifier wire that I show you in the video is the correct one. Um, it's a 26 pin on pin number 18. And when I hook it up to that, it does not turn on the amplifier when I turn the ignition on. So apparently that doesn't work from the factory. So I just hooked it directly up to the fuse panel this time. Um, I'm gonna go have my buddy help me hook up the accessory wire so it turns on and off properly. But at least in this video, you know how to pretty much do a complete install of like, you know, a line output converter. Those are all hooked up correctly to the line output converter. We showed you how to run the wires and everything's done. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this video and sorry for the little snafu on the accessory wire. I just can't figure it out right now and I wanna get this video up for you guys. So I uh, hope it helps you out and um, give me some good feedback. All right, and uh, hit me up in the links below the video. Just, um, if you would, I appreciate any purchase you make through my links, like Amazon links. I only get paid if you purchase within the uh, first 24 hours of clicking on the link. And um, I'll put some other stuff in there too. So it's just a way I make a little extra money on the side. All right. Thanks for watching. Peace. Okay, I'm back. I thought I better just play you some music real quick just so you know that it works. I got it hooked up. It's on low volume right now, but uh, maybe you can get this through your video. I hope you can. We can the trunk makes it really loud okay here we are at the back it's hooked up all right I'm totally stoked I hope you're stoked it works thanks again for watching my video Hope it helps you out.